Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, I have to share some news I didn't think was gonna be a thing, ever. Apparently, the Garo collaboration, which started in the middle of Heaven's Word, is gonna be ending in patch 5.1 after the Shadowbringers release. Now, for those of you who started playing in more recent times, you probably didn't even know there was a collaboration going on. We had all pretty much assumed it was gonna be permanent. But basically, Garo is a show in Japan, a movie, show, a bunch of different things, and we have armor sets in the game that resemble the characters from the show. And it's been part of the PvP, uh, I guess, gear that's available for, you know, years now at this point. And it's going to be going away. So if you don't get this stuff before 5.1, it's gone. Maybe it'll be on the Mog Station later, but we don't know at the current moment. So what do you need to do to get all the Garo related stuff? Well, first of all, they fortunately have a list of all the things that are going to be disappearing right here. Now, previously earned gear mounts titles will remain usable. So if you've already earned these things, they're not going away. And if you have previously earned the gear, you can buy it from the Calamity Salvager as well. So in order to get all this stuff done, what do you need? So items available from the Disreputable Priest at the Wolf's Den and items available from the Gold Saucer Attendant at the Gold Saucer. These are basically the same sets. However, one of them can be dyed. The one from the Disreputable Priest at the Wolf's Den can be dyed. And the one from the Gold Saucer Attendant cannot. Now, if I remember correctly, this one is Gold Saucer points and then this one is Wolf Marks. I believe it's 19,000 Wolf Marks per set. Yeah, you can get a full list of how many wolf marks all of them are right here. Luckily, it links right to the play guide on the load zone, which can be very useful for uh, looking at items and their costs. So this is just uh, a few examples. There's weapons, armor, and accessories, which you don't really need too much in the way of appearance. And then going to this one, the items available from the gold saucer, you can see their items that are about 100,000 MGP a pop for the weapons. And then for the armor, they're about 20,000. So with uh, MGP kind of being a hot topic as it is right now, and with the Make It Rain event, if you don't care about dying the armor, this is one of the options. But otherwise, if you want the diable stuff and as well as some of the other rewards, you're going to need to PvP in order to get this stuff. And like I said, I believe without counting on the screen right now that a full set for one job or role is 19,000 wolf marks. So this is going to be stuff you're going to want to earn from front lines, from whatever the daily PvP roulette actually is, from rival wings, from the feast. However it is you want to earn it, go ahead and get it before 5.1. Now, there are also three mounts available from these three achievements that are listed. Fatal Feast, Frontline Fury, and Furious Fatalities. Say that three times fast. Fatal Feast is from winning 30 Feast matches. Frontline Fury is from winning 10 Frontlines matches. And Furious Fatalities is from 60 wins in either of those categories. I don't think Frontline Fury has been updated to include Rival Wings. However, this is something you're definitely going to want to look because all of these mounts look really cool. They're like armored horses. So if you've seen those like armored looking horses around, this is where they come from my i have a couple of recommendations one there are community nights that specifically deal with queuing into different pvp matches the one i know of off the top of my head is revival wings which again if that hasn't if frontline fury hasn't been updated for that that's not going to help you very much um i wouldn't be surprised to see some frontlines community nights pop up over the next several months depending on what's actually around in queue um, and then feast is just it's the start of a season now and there's probably going to be another season before 5.1 you probably want to get in on that as quickly as possible again it's going to be down to luck you know obviously the better you are at pvp the easier these will be to obtain but you never know what's going to happen in lower elos and you know you just gotta hop on it as quickly as possible and just try to get a win here win there and see if you can actually get it done but yeah uh i'm super surprised i just thought it would always be there i thought it would be like rathalos and it would just be permanent um because they they mentioned that there would be an end date and then it's been like three years since they said that and i had just kind of thought it would always be there so anyway uh let me know what you think about this if you saw this one coming or not and if you're gonna try to actually go out there and complete all of the sets for the garo event anyway thank you for watching be sure to like favorite subscribe and share and a little announcement i'm gonna be doing a separate video on this i'm gonna be attending the borderlands 3 gameplay reveal event uh, on May 1st, I'm going to be live streaming it on Twitch, and there's a new extension that they just announced on Twitch where you can earn Borderlands 3 loot by watching the stream and following the instructions that the extension gives you. You'll even be able to earn that loot for the eventual Steam release, so those of you who don't care about the Epic Store, figured I'd throw that out there as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see all of you in the next video, and until then, take care.